problem. Jordan mm -hmm. Dahl, okay, John Carl, thanks very much. TJ? U.S. Attorney now to a new report that finds leisure activities as simple as reading a book or taking a walk may help reduce the risk of dementia by up to a third. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, our good friend around here, needs to get a break. And I'll be 26. So tell us about the study and up to a third. That sounds significant. Yeah, it is, TJ, and I think the bottom line here is as we age, even starting in middle life, the key is to be active, but also to have fun. So this study just published in the journal Neurology looked at the association or observation between physical activity, leisure activity, and different types of dementia, and found that people who engaged in leisure activities reduced their risk of all types of dementia by 17%, had an 18% lower risk of Alzheimer's dementia and a 32% lower risk of vascular dementia. So these observed findings were pretty interesting and good news. But help people understand when we say, I mentioned reading, but when we talk about uh, leisure activities, what are we talking about? Well, it's difficult to ascertain, right, because it's subjective. You know, what gives you pleasure? What do you enjoy doing? But think of it as divided up into three basic categories in terms of cognitive activities, even something passive like watching TV or more active, reading, playing games, or playing musical instruments. Those qualify in terms of physical activities, walking, lifting weights, dancing, anything that you're moving your body and being active, and social activities, so important. So this could be anything from visiting with friends or volunteering um, in your community. All of these things help. You, you said active and have fun, so how do you incorporate this into your life? It sounds like you need to create some habits. Well, I, I think you need to do more, but you also need to remember, you know, connect the dots between body, mind, and spirit. It's not all about the cardio. We know that's important in reducing the risk of dementia and lowering types of cancer. But what we do in our off time, that matters too. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Perhaps I'll see you later.